on what's that in my people so i am so happy to be able to bring you a review for free man these colognes and shoes been busting my tail man god damn been busting Ugh. but uh got some music to bring you freddie gibbs and the alchemist alfredo i didn't know this was dropping i'm subscribed to them on youtube so i see the, the track start dropping that's usually how they do they drop uh, all the, the tracks on there and stuff i'm looking i'm like oh you got a project because i seen a video the other day of uh, uh freddie gibbs and freddie gibbs and the alchemist 1985 and stuff so i'm like uh oh yeah it's on so this project right here is 10 songs 35 minutes let's get into this but man This that smoke starts off with 1985 and it got a burning max skit at the beginning they don't have that on the music video got a rock and roll guitar type uh type beat he talking this ish um rapid fire flow uh 1985 he kind of talking about uh he traveling like like mj in 1985 with the, the traveling crack circus or uh, cocaine circus or whatever on the documentary, they talk about uh, Michael Jordan when he was younger, and he first got with the Bulls. They was doing the drugs and all that. And Mike was with him in Chicago. The Bulls, they was bad off and whatever. So he kind of used that little part from the documentary and device a song around it in a certain way, like he used a little slick lines or whatever. But it's not necessarily what they're talking about. He's talking about his doping and all that. But start off solid joint to start it off with. Number two, God is perfect. Dark, melancholy, laid back beat. The second verse, he spares out. He spares out, but dope song. Number three, Scotty Beam featuring Rick Ross. And Scotty Beam, he, he kind of mentioned Scotty Beam like in the in the track. Uh, I didn't think he was gonna mention her. I didn't think that's what it necessarily was about. But uh, Scotty Beam, she used to be on State of the Culture with Joe Button and them. She probably doing the podcast or something right now. But uh, I think he referenced her. He said, say he like her or something. But anyways, beautiful piano beat. First verse, talk about shooting out with the police amongst other things. Uh, Ross, Ross got his one flow. But he get on here. Hey, Ross get on here and eat. With that one little flow he got, he murdered. He murdered. This is a solid joint. Solid joint. Number four, look at me. Soulful sample. His rap on here is jazz-esque. The, the meaning about that is like jazz is, is like a abstract kind and you just all over the place so he get on the on the, the track he kind of rapid flow then he slow up then he kind of like mumbling then he just nothing then he just rap a little bit like it's like he kind of like the freestyle or something like just clown around on the on the joint but it sounds so dope especially that beat that beat so hard man alchemist that's why i'm gonna talk about these beats and stuff on these tracks also because this is Freddie Gibbs and Alchemist. Alchemist is much as a part of this project as Freddie Gibbs is, man. So I want to give him his props on his beats. Number five, Frank Lucas featuring Benny the Butcher. <laughs> Dark, Scarface-esque type track. You just got to listen to this one, man. You got to listen to this one. But man, that brother Benny get on that second verse. I thought Freddie was about to murk him. Because I'm like, Freddie, Freddie going in. And then Benny get on there, I'm like, he got his normal flow or whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, I think I think Freddie about to murder him on here. But man, he just keep going and stuff, man. He, he give you about he give it a guy about a good 32 bars, man. Like Benny get on there and eat that beat, dog. They both do their thing, dog. Hey, this this joint, this joint right here is sick. And Frank Lucas, this American gangster, remember Denzel played him or whatever. How can I just des describe this joint? Ew, ew. Push a T. Number six, something to rap featuring Tyler the Creator. I'm always hard against Tyler the Creator. Pause. But man, Tyler the Creator, when he getting on these like West Side Gun and like this and stuff, man. Hey, Tyler been doing his thing, dog. Like on his album, he's singing and doing all this and whatever. It's, I, I like singing to a certain extent, like uh Bryson Tiller S, Drake S. But like what he be doing on his it's not necessarily my bag, but man, when you get in this rapping bag, hey, he's doing his damn thing. But a soothing, mellow, 
mellow beat, man. It's a, it's a pretty beat. Like to, to describe it, like when you hear it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But the beat sounds pretty. <laughs> but he, he talking, he, Freddie Gibbs, he kind of talking a little deeper on his joint, man. A little deeper, more introspective. Talk about women, label stuff, pitfalls of selling dope. Tyler the Creator, he talk about getting on a, uh, purchasing a boat or being on a boat or something. And he talk about getting fly and about not trusting the people around him and, and all that. But, uh, it's very dope. Very, very dope, man. How to move it in this game. That's kind of what Tyler is talking about. Number seven, baby, baby ish. Cause they be trying to demonetize him, brother. So I'm trying not to curse. But chill beat. But Freddie's the star of this track, man. Like, the beat is, is cool, but it's just like backdrop. Because Freddie just get on here and he eat. Like, rapid fire flow throughout most of the, the whole thing. At the end of it, they got a little skit. Uh, the skit comes from Godfather of Harlem. And it's when he was, the dude was talking to Bumpy Johnson about uh, how he was happy about uh, the black people in the hood getting hooked on dope and stuff. He, he took joy in that because he they lied and said that the brothers had killed his uh he killed his son i think his son or his daughter i forgot what it was but that's basically what it's talking about it comes from godfather harlem good show if you've never seen it number eight babies of fools featuring kind with a machine another one griselda hey griselda in freddie gibbs chill soulful joint talking about ladies and he ain't gonna be he ain't gonna be stupid for me and all that man conway talking about Boston back from getting shot. How he gave the streets his kids in Buffalo his all because they got like a little sample in there giving, giving you all of me. So I forgot how, how it went. It's not like, like, uh, it's not like John Legend esque or something talking about giving you all of me. All of me. That's not what he's talking about. But it is another sample, but it's saying giving all of me. And like they, they devised their verses around this sample and how they gave. Gave they all to, to certain things. So, dope track. Number nine, Skinny Shug. And chords on this beat is beautiful. Hey, talk about selling dope, selling dope for him to rap. Like, he was he was rapping. He wasn't making no money. He was selling dope for the ability to pursue rap. And then he, he talked all the way up to getting rich off rap. But he talking about all the, the drama and stuff in between. But very dope, very dope, man. Number 10 ends off with all glass. It starts off with like a church gospel-esque uh, organ, like an organ and stuff. I'm like, eh, I'm not too, I'm not thinking I'm gonna be too crazy about this one. But then the beat drop, I'm like, oh, had to give it the stank face, man. Hey, he do, do the damn thing on there. Uh, is, is another one, another one wrecking stuff. But I'm not like going super in depth on the lyric breakdown and everything. This is my first time listening to this up. I want to hurry up and bring y'all this review. And it's hard for you to to give like a, a great assessment of something on first view. But that's what that's what I like to do because I like to give it to y'all y'all early. Uh, pause that pause really. But uh, upon my first review of this this album, man, my first listen, yo. If I gotta give it a number value, I hate to do this, I hate to do this, I hate to do this. 10. 10. Freddie Gibbs go. He go ham on him. He go ham on him. And the Alchemist, dog. I thought Westside Gun had some of the pr best production, had the best produced album this year. Man, the Alchemist, what he gave, what he gave Freddie, Freddie Gibbs. Oh, they went they went stupid on this project. Bandana is Bandana is off the chain. I, I didn't give Bandana a, a perfect album. I think I gave it like a 9.8 or something. I think this is better than Bandana. And that might be blasphemous. I know a lot of people have gotten to listen to Bandana a lot and they love it. It's a cult favorite or whatever. Man, but this one right here, just for me, the only thing is just a, it's a little shorter. It's a 35 minute project. Bandana is probably like maybe like 40 something minutes. But uh, this one right here, hey, this a classic. I will be jamming this. This is gonna be in rotation. I put it on my iPad. I'm about to put it on my phone. I will be carrying this around. I'm gonna be listening to this. 
I wish they would open the court for me to go hoop because I would be listening to this on the headphones while I'm be hooping and stuff. But I go walking, I'm going to be listening to this while I'm walking up the street and if somebody come run up on me, they're going to get dealt with because I'm going to be hyped up off Freddie Gibbs. But uh, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. going to be the greatest and the most hated, man. I'll let you boy. <laughs>